For many areas of Australia, it's been a long, warm and dry spring, and we've got a long, hot summer ahead. And you know what that means? The gardens need water, and one of the most efficient ways to water is with an irrigation system. Irrigation controllers come in many shapes and sizes. The larger multi-station units get quite in-depth, running off 240 volt power with cabling to numerous solenoids. These take a fair bit of setting up and are often best left to the professionals. The easiest controllers to set up are these tap timers. Wherever you've got a tap, you just have to screw it on. They're battery operated, the computer's all built in. You just set it and then it does all the work for you. Just a little tip, when you're screwing onto the brass, just go easy because it is possible to tear the thread and you don't want to do that. The programming is fairly straightforward as long as you follow the instructions. Set the time and date and then work your way through the watering days, start times and run times. You can have up to four start times per zone per day. The Water Whiz 200 is perfect for me here. It's got the two outlets. I've got one set up for the lawn pop-ups and the other one here goes to the garden bed. But they also do the 400 with four outlets for the bigger jobs and more zones. And then there's just the single here. Now I've got the irrigation set up, but if you wanted to just set up a normal hose pipe, on she goes. Early morning is generally a good time for watering as this is usually calm and wind free with no heat to cause evaporation, meaning you're getting the most from this precious resource. The beauty of these tap timers is that they do all the work for you. You just have the occasional seasonal adjusting and you know what that means? It frees you up to do the things you want to do.